I'd say that winning the lottery is something many have dreamed of. We just dream of 18 degrees, don't we? <laughs> uh, so it's no surprise that the TV show The Syndicate, about five people who hit the jackpot, was a very popular series. Well, now the story, crafted by the late scriptwriter Kay Meller, has been adapted for the stage with a cast of famous faces. Our reporter, Abby Jayola, has been backstage. They just rolled down that little tube one after the other. The syndicate tells a story of a group of supermarket staff who win the lottery. It was a huge hit on TV. Now remember, as soon as I make the announcement, the cameras will go off, so big smiles. The show ran for four series from 2012, and now it's making its theatre debut. The script was written by Leeds playwright Kay Meller shortly before she died two years ago. Now her daughter Gaynor has stepped in to bring her mum's work to the stage. Coming to Leeds Grand, she's had Band of Gold here, she's had um, Fat Friends the Musical here, and they were huge hits. So for her to bring the syndicate here is ultra special, and to keep her words alive is really important for us and her legacy going forwards. Well, there's the ticket. You can check the numbers if you like. In rehearsals backstage at the Leeds Grand, the production is a real family affair. Five million each. Oliver is Gaynor's son, and he plays the role of Jamie. I've been a part of it since the start, so to be able to be a part of it on the stage in, in such a great place like the Grand, it, it, with Gaynor directing me, you know, it's, it's an honour, and to be able to speak Kay's words every day um, is an honour to me. I call her Kay because... Professional sense, but yeah, she's my lovely grandma, but yeah. The cast includes some other familiar faces, Brooke Vincent from Coronation Street and Emmerdale's Samantha Giles. I had a little bit of a taste of going back on stage at Christmas when I did Panto at Bradford, so I feel like I remembered, I remembered what it's like because I hadn't been on stage for 14 years and it is... It is very exciting having the live audience and the reactions there, but it's also, yeah, quite scary. <laughs> One of Kay's qualities was to just get you laughing and crying within seconds and I think that really, really does come through in the play as well. We've had so much fun laughing at different lines in the, in the, in the rehearsal room. There's just over two weeks of rehearsals left and audiences will be able to share what has been a very special project for Kay's family. Everybody says, oh, God, if I only won the lottery, if I won the lottery, I'd do this. I wouldn't like... She explores all that. The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's that theme of money, is it, is it good for us? And I think it raises that question, but all in a wonderful, amusing, sad, you know, dramatic way. Are you rich? The show will start in Leeds on the 18th of April, then head to Sheffield and Bradford. Abby Chayola, BBC News. Huh. It's so true, isn't it? What would I do if I won the lottery? Oh, yeah, we can all dream. That's one of my things when I'm trying to get to sleep, I just fantasise about it. see if it dust, would we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would still be here, <laughs> 6 yeah, o'clock every morning, Ben. Whatever. <laughs>